Morning folks, day soap is brought to us by Sprite Gold Shade. This one here is Camp David. You can kind of tell by the uh, artwork there. It's, that's pretty nice artwork there. Uh, five ounces what this one started out with. And I think if you're looking for this one here, buy, sell, trade might be the only way you find this one here. I've had this one here for just a moment, but it's a, it's a pretty nice scent. Some of that you might pick up with your nose might be some coconut, pineapple, cherry. There's no telling. Anyhow, I've got a description down below if you want to check it out. But it's a, um, it's a pretty nice scent if you're interested in it. Like I say, take a read down below. Uh, there's quite a bit of information about this soap down there as well as the ingredients if you want to check it out. And I uh, also got the uh, matching aftershave to go right along with it. I have it whipped up here smooth bottom bowl more or less with a this particular brush this POTUS handle it's got the coin down there installed my own little <laughs> as you can imagine my own little knot there that's a cashmere it does smell really nice uh ventus i think is what uh it might be based on a, there might be a blend of two different scents but anyway like i said give it a read down below uh the razor of the day. This one here is by Frank Shaving. It was sent to me by the way of uh, uh, Randy Wright. It has a hexagon handle here. And I think the name of this one here is 99A. A I think is probably for aggressive. Some of you might be familiar with this kind of head setup. There's some that look similar to this. It doesn't take a whole lot to make a difference in the shave. So it'll look similar to something you may have seen before. I know Razor Rock has a head that's very similar to this. I don't know if it's exactly the same or not. We're getting ready to find out how uh, aggressive it might be. Because the last time I shaved with a head that looks similar to this, it, it is on the aggressive side. And as it goes for blade of choice, we're going to push the envelope to the very edge. I'm uh, going to start out with a feather on it. <laughs> and the... Uh, when uh, Randy sent this to me, also it has a cool looking stand. It's what the bottom of it looks like. It's got some felt right here. Kind of see this open right through there. And that's what the top looks like. Pretty nice. Nice stand. Go ahead and already put a hot towel to the face this morning. And with the face, get started with the Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. Uh, got a hair hanging out there. Uh, ice cube for a pre shave soap. Hope everybody is doing well. I know the weather around here is, it's July, so you know, you're expecting it's going to be a little warm, but we're still hanging around the 100 plus or minus. That's just a regular temp without the heat index, so it's been staying still pretty warm around here. Uh, we did get just a little bit of a, of a sprinkle. <laughs> you know how it is. Uh, you get just enough to mess up the car, the windshield and all that sort of thing. Just enough. That's all we got. Really nothing to speak of outside the fact it just messes up the car. But uh, that, that's all the rain we got. Just a spit. Could use a lot more because like I say, around here the grass is starting to get kind of crunchy. It's getting rather dry. It's been a moment since we had a good rain. Kind of see there, it's, it whips up pretty quick. Didn't take very long at all. As goes for pre-shaves, whether you like to pre-shave at all, or a soap or an oil, I think, to a degree, I think it's probably more of a uh, personal preference of what works best for you. I know for me, if I'm uh, the best case scenario for me, as goes for pre-shave, and I'm shaving with a straight razor or a shave vet, pre-shave oil seem to work better for me. But as goes for like using a single edge, like an injector or a double edge, pre-shave soap works just fine. Kind of see how it goes on. It didn't take very long to whip this up, of course. It smells really nice. I mean, it is a very nice, pleasant scent. I, I don't smell anything that I would think somebody may find off-putting or anything like that. It's a... Uh, I guess you might say a, a scent that I would think most people would like. In other words, it's not like uh, uh, Sterling's Obsidian or Black Ice. In other words, black licorice. You know, there's going to be folks that are not going to like that scent. And I understand, but this one here is a nice, pleasant scent. So, there is a blade feel. 
which is to be expected, huh? Not too terribly bad. I don't find it so aggressive that I wouldn't want to use it every so often. I have had some in the past that was too aggressive for me. Like I say, I'm starting out with a feather blade, so in other words, we are pushing the envelope on how the blade feels. And uh, it's even with a feather blade. I don't find it overly aggressive, but <laughs> there is a blade feel. <laughs> I, I'm not, I'm still, as it goes for sometimes when you uh, get a razor and you're trying to decipher the uh, what the title of the uh, razor is, like this one here, 99A. I'm assuming that the A is more for standing for aggressive as opposed to A being uh, version 1. In other words, that's what I'm kind of thinking right now. A is uh, for aggressive. In it, like I say, it's not overly aggressive. It's not something that I couldn't use on a regular basis. Uh, but like any other uh, aggressive razor, uh, test your blades out. See which one works best for you. Uh, this one here with a feather blade, it works just fine. I, I'm okay with feather blades. But if you're looking for something to tame down the aggressiveness, yeah, I would swap out and use a few blades. See what works best for you. I don't think I can say enough about this scent. It is a nice scent. They did a great job on this one. All right, across the green. And this is a first use on this feather blade, so... And I didn't do anything special to it. I took it straight out of the wrapper and installed the blade right into the razor. So didn't get corked or anything of the sort. But I'm accustomed to shaving with uh, razors like this. Something I probably should mention that you'll notice that my routine is uh, how much I went across the grain over here. But over here only up to a point and that's because I know what my limits are on my neck <laughs> and that this works better. In other words trying not to get any irritation. It's something I learned over time that uh, what my neck is uh, able to handle I guess you might say. It does have limits and sometimes you know you learn the hard way but you'll remember that though. <laughs> It's kind of like uh, shaving with a shavette or a straight razor. If you're not careful, you'll have memory lines. In other words, where you cut yourself, yeah, you'll remember it next time. It'll be, it won't be easy to forget. I have, uh, it's been a long standing issue with my neck that right through here are areas that I can get irritation pretty easy. So I've learned over time uh, how to shave that area and not get irritation. I said this did lather up pretty easy. And it's not drippy, but it's, it is hydrated. It does smell great. I mean, I can still smell it, which is pretty good for me. As it goes for the razor itself, Cost-wise, I have a link down below. I think it's running right around the $25 mark, $24, $22, somewhere in there. It's not terribly expensive. Now, as it goes for the handle, depending on what your needs and wants are in a handle, uh, this handle is shaped uh, nice. You kind of see where I'm holding it. And you kind of see, yeah, right there. So, in other words, when I'm Swirling it in the sink water, easy to hang on to. And if you're into these kind of shapes, this that, that kind of shape makes it really easy to, to work with. Just depends on what you're used to. Oh, also, just an ever so slight overhang on each end for the tabs on the razor blade. For those that shave under the nose.
course, you could look at it from a different uh, perspective. That overhang also helps, you know, hang on to the blade when you're putting the, the three-piece razor together. If that's a thing for you. I do like the, the that right there. Easy to hang on to. Uh, over time, as you go through different handles, you'll notice uh, different things about a handle that you may or may not like. And this is one of them that I think they've done a great job because when you are swirling it in the sink, it does make it really easy to hang on to. I notice that some handles have a place that it varies. Sometimes they'll have it up towards the middle of the handle, but it does make it easier to hang on to when you're swirling it around or, or just while you're doing your shave. Some handles designs I think are better than others, even though some of them look just fantastic. But when you go to shave with it and you start to notice in things and here and there, and after a while you start to figure out what you do like. In a handle, whether it's lightweight, heavyweight, short, long. Did, uh, I didn't think to check to see how long this handle is. Um, I don't think it's four inches. <laughs> it might be closer to three and a half, maybe three and three quarters, but I don't think it's four inches. But it does have some weight behind it. The handle itself is uh, stainless steel, and I think the head is uh, that zinc, or that, what's it called, Zymac, or whatever it is, uh, uh, type metal. But it does have a nice frost to, to it, I guess you might call it a frost. Looks pretty nice. I mean, when you look at it, this um, it looks pretty nice. That's what the end of the handle there looks like, if you're wondering. All right, let's see what the Allen block has to say. This one here I've had for a good long moment. Crown King. I don't expect a whole lot. I get little places along my neck, which is kind of sort of expected. A little bit right through there. But not a whole lot. Especially considering that I was using a feather blade and an aggressive razor. That's uh Ah, that's pretty good. Not too much at all. Witch Hazel Humphreys, the big 16 ounce container. We're we're getting there. <laughs> it's gonna take a moment. Oh, I should also mention uh here pretty soon after I get this uh, uploaded. Get it all set up and get finished packing and whatnot. I'll be going out of town. I'll be gone for about a week, so it'll be a moment for I make another video. Really nice shave this morning. Yes, no stinging. Everything. Yeah, it's it's. You have to say it's a pretty nice shave, even with an aggressive razor with an aggressive blade. All right, let's see. That's what the restrictor looks like. You can kind of see that in the cap and the restrictor, how they'll go together, help keep the goodness inside there, keeping things fresh. It has a small restrictor, so it does take a moment to uh, get it all out. I definitely will be smelling good today. All right, that wraps up my shave for today. Really nice. Thanks, Randy, for sending me the razor. <laughs> hey, it's a nice one. I do enjoy it. But if you're not into aggressive razors or a lot of blade feel or anything quite like that, uh, this head won't be for you. But this handle, though, hey, I tell you, this this handle is uh, it it works really well for me. I like this handle, like the razor altogether. But especially that handle is pretty nice design. Hope everybody's doing well. Stay, stay healthy, stay safe, and smooth shades to you.